Hey guys, it's Twintuitive717. I'm back with another video. I wanted to share a quick reading here with you guys because I know that everyone's feeling it in the collective. Um, just as far as like that negative energy and we've been going through a lot of changes. The Divine Feminines specifically have been tested with the connection that they feel with their masculines. Some of you are experiencing communication and you're just not sure what to do with it at this time. Think about the past, think about all of the work that you have been through, all of the spiritual work that you've done. And I feel like both the masculines and the feminines are awakened to this connection now. And it's just an overwhelming energy. And because it's overwhelming, you have to remember that when you're in a state of stress and you're feeling negativity, it's almost like your energetic feels and your aura, it opens and it's very open when we're not grounded to our bodies so that other energies can easily penetrate us. And that's where the doubt and confusion and heavy contemplation ends up coming into our space and you have to pay attention to how it's making you feel. So when you're thinking about your life and your twin flame connection is very much a part of that life, you have to be in alignment with what it is that you want to attract. We all have to be accountable for ourselves, even with the twin flame journey, because our twins are there to help teach us boundaries and the very lessons that we need to learn in order to become stronger and present ourselves more authentically in the world. And I feel that the masculines are testing the feminine's ability now with all of the work that we've been through, past behaviors and just conversations that you really thought you had put behind you, certain issues that are coming up uh, with the way that you interact, you really thought that that was behind you and cycles were ending. I just want to remind you that the reason you may feel some resistance or some of the same stuff is coming up, it's, it's really and truly a test of what it is we've been through and how it is we will conduct ourselves with this newfound information um, that we have. I mean, the spiritual growth that we've experienced and that we've gone through, the masculines can sense the change in us and they're happy for us. I mean, even though you might be experiencing some communication with your masculine that's here and there, it's on and off, they come in with very deep emotion and then they disappear. And it's very devastating at, at this period because there's just been so much work that's been done and you are seeing and feeling the changes and then you get hit out of nowhere with some negativity. So stay true and strong within who you are and understand that you know this connection it's if it feels real for you then you don't really need to explain that to anybody whatever choices that you're making along the way i don't feel like you should have to feel like you the the urge to explain it to your twin to family to friends if you feel like taking a time out, you know, go right ahead and just sort things out and decide how it is, <clears throat> excuse me, decide how it is you feel. And then once you feel strong within that knowing, then the choices that you have to make in order to attract those, you know, very to attract those circumstances that you desire, it will come into fruition for you. Um, I feel like it's it's all about, you know, moving out of fear. And the feminines are helping the masculines to do this as well. Because, you know, I, I think that, and I've mentioned it before that the tables have turned and I feel like now the masculines are, are sitting with the feeling of um, the feminines experiencing and enjoying life <clears throat> and it's feeling for them that she's forgetting the connection but if the feminines really look back at the journey that, that they have been on 
we were on that ride at the beginning of the connection. So now we get a chance to see how the masculines were feeling. They very much <laughs> were thinking about us, you know, the whole time. Um, you know, on this card here, he's holding on to the flame. For me, he's very much aware of the Twin Flame connection, and he always has been with the Hermit card. And, you know, for me, when I see the Hermit, I think of the masculine energy always being, you know, somewhat, you know, very reserved, very, very masculine, very self-reliant, dominant, and the moment he met the feminine, she started to, you know, light this fire within him. And I think that's, it's just a beautiful card to express his emotions about the feminine. Because, you know, if we go ahead and cover up that man here in the background, even when they were separated and she was being very inviting to his love, you know, all of the signs and synchronicities were there between them. He was still in this energy here, like even without the present moment occurring right now with the feminine off and just kind of like doing her own thing. She was always inviting, but he couldn't figure out why he couldn't move forward. And it had a lot to do with, you know, now if we cover up both uh, of the images here and he sees himself here in the hermit position, He's always been in this energy of all wanting to experience this kind of love, but he has to light that flame on his own before wanting the feminine to light it. Do you guys know what I mean? It's like having that self-love and knowing that he's worthy of the kind of connection that the feminine is offering and that there are no illusions behind it he has to come to that awareness on his own. It's learning love, learning unconditional love, learning how to give it as well as receive it. And so he's still in this energy now when dealing with the feminine, doing her thing and experiencing life. It doesn't mean that she needs to be experiencing, um, you know, encounters with other people specifically. When I see this other card behind her, to me it just signifies pleasure. And, you know, if we really look at intimacy, it's just such a big part of who we all are and pleasure is a big part of who we all are. And, you know, with all of the greenery around her here and you could see that he's in a cave, you know, he's, he's really experiencing some emotions about the connection now at this point. And it's making him stop and want to be alone and think about how he really feels for her. And that's the energy that's going on right now, which is why many of you are feeling that sort of confusion and fear and it's easy for, you know, the bad apples in the community to penetrate our energy because we're feeling a lot of the masculine's fear about this. They're, these are the emotions that they're going through. And feminines, you'll know it's not your energy because you've been there before and you've done a lot of work to address this type of hermit energy and now is our time to sort of awaken from that slumber again and many of you are feeling that you're like i've mentioned in, in, in a lot of past videos the feminine energy is really coming into her beautiful essence again you know the twin flame recognition phase and push and pull really dragged our physical bodies through a lot um, even jumping onto the ascension process as well we were experiencing a lot of energies that were just making us feel fatigued and what the fatigue did in turn was it really lowered our levels of dopamine in the brain and when you think of dopamine you think of like that really happy feeling right within our bodies and when you experience things like anxiety and depression it's coming to our awareness through this twin flame journey at like <laughs> such a hardcore level because our bodies are awakening to learn how to heal these kinds of emotions without having to feel so suppressed and oppressed by it we're starting to actually talk about things like what it's like to feel healthy in the mind and really bring some light and awareness to a lot of the mental health issues that have been affecting us as men and women because you know that affects our ability to be good parents too and to be efficient and productive in our everyday lives and in our jobs and you know so I really feel like a lot of this 
energy is coming to light for both of them at this time and I want the twins to, to both hang in there. Feminines, keep your energy really light. Um, I do notice the sun card in here as well, which is a perfect, wonderful sign of the things to come. Like overall, just glancing at the cards, I can tell that it, it's a very positive reading, but um, I want you to understand like where the negativity is coming from right now. It's just like the journey that the masculines are on at this time. And the best way to help yourself out of that energy as well as theirs is to stay in high vibrations. Um, I'm just kind of like, you know, tempted to go ahead and pick up the Queen of Pentacles card. So when I think of Pentacles, I think about redeeming, right? So Pentacles is all about, you know, money and finances and redeeming something. And that's the energies that the feminines are in now. Stay within that high vibration of just attracting the things that you want to you at this time. Because, you know, if you look at the masculines here, he's, you know, really holding on to her feet and just really honoring who she is and feeling very proud of her. It's When I see him on the floor and he's holding onto her feet, I feel as though he's very much humbling himself to her and he's showing her that he's aware of the connection now. It's like she's sort of moving <laughs> up, up, up into this higher awareness and he's not quite there yet so he's grabbing onto her feet and asking her just to to hang on but if you see she has her hand on her side here which you know and with this hand too it's like you know she wants him to know that she's there and she's close and that she feels like she feels the connection but she cannot she can't stop this urge and this growth within her to be of service to others and this need to be of service to others is attracting the abundance here that she's receiving she's on an unstoppable path now so if any of you feminines have had dreams of like tsunamis or that's been like a theme in your dreams it's because a lot of wonderful things are happening for you in terms of abundance because can't be stopped once these things start happening for you there's like a fierceness that comes out within you you know that fierce energy that comes out within you that cannot be stopped and you're going to help other people by creating strong foundations for yourselves so that you can act like activists and um, advocates for for people is what i'm getting um, he very much admires this about you. Like, again, we get pentacles. Um, you know, so for me, pentacles, again, is all about redeeming. Um, you know, with the big green bush burning here. There's a lot of abundance around the feminine, and the masculines are learning how to receive. You know, with the star here, I'm not sure if you guys can see it. He feels as though she is his wish come true. And... This is what sometimes causes him to stay in the hermit energy is because I feel like watching her create all of this abundance so qu quickly or in such a, a rapid amount of time, it's very intimidating. And, you know, just even with the green dress here, the earthly energy around her, the protection from earth and the elements, you know the masculines are very curious now and i i do feel them approaching with caution so this in turn is making them go within because when they have to approach with caution the feminines are putting them in a space where they're they're having to do a lot more thinking about themselves and the triggers and just the need to connect with her but also having to sort of tame um the energies within them and you know, oftentimes to tame a lion, a sense of innocence needs to be present. And I feel, you know, any animal, you know, I, I get the example of like a wild boar and, you know, it's tusk where it's, tusk can do damage, but if you change the nature or if you nurture the boar in a certain way, it's like the tusk becomes harmless. It's like the masculine energies are learning through the feminine's innocence that they're very much that lion energy. They're very protected. But when it comes to matters of the heart, and if you see the beautiful heart there, when it comes to matters of the heart, it's really the feminine that brings out that quality within them. And I picture a lion <laughs> just kind of like, 
breathing heavily and really just kind of like taking a slow seat down when he sees her energy coming towards him or his lioness. Um, you know, I'll move to the sun card because that's really what both of them are going to be experiencing. I mean, it's inevitable if you're on the twin flame journey and you keep digging inwards and <laughs> sometimes you feel like a punching bag, but you know, a few days later you'll be like, okay, that's why I had to feel like crap, you know, last week or, you know, during that last little while, it's because I had to have this aha moment come up for me, you know, whether it's from your past, whether it, uh, it was a moment from your childhood. And then you go back to the energy of just wanting this passion with your twin flame, because I feel like without their presence, that kind of growth or these kind of revelations don't come to you because their energy is so heavily connected to yours. And, you know, that's why, you know, even for me, like I don't, care about what anybody says about the twin flame label because i feel this energy all the time my twin makes me feel this about myself all the time like even when we go through periods of hurting each other i can't even say of him hurting me because we're, we're mirrors right so when we get into arguments or conversations where it's heated it's like we both take turns at hurting each other um, so it's like we're both triggering that hurt and growth because we know that the energy that we feel for each other constantly, it, it, this is what it brings us back to, you know, a lot of ripe fruit being filled, you know, that cornucopia energy, just really a time for reaping, <laughs> reaping the harvest. And they're just so gentle in this energy. The sun is so bright around them. I guess to tie up the reading, I feel like again with the feminine a reminder about the doubt that you may be feeling just understand that the masculines have been through a lot like every time i see that woman there in the reflection especially with it being water i feel like it has a lot to do with the emotions that he's experienced with other feminines in his life and he wants this experience to at least get to a place where he can show you himself and everything that he has to offer like even with the bag being filled here um and you know chalices too like it's about you know for me preserving cups like they hold right for me that holding energy they've both held the space for each other for a really long time and i feel like he knows that the feminine is aware of what he's been through and this is why she's always been forgiving like i think maybe he like might have seen it as like a weakness you know he might have seen it as um her wanting something from him which is why she was willing to overlook these things these behaviors this negativity within him but the feminines were drawing such healthy boundaries that it really was bringing so much healing to the masculines that I feel like the masculines are now surrendering to a place of feeling like it's okay to trust someone that loves you unconditionally irregardless of what you might have been through in your past or the hurt that you may have experienced from other people. The feminines are there to assist you in recognizing how it is you can heal that hurt for yourself and go within and really address the things from your past and she is right there to, to guide you. And that's why the feminines always return back to that place of um, wanting to nurture them, right? And many of you feminines, you're beautiful mothers. And even if you don't have children, there's just something about your energy that's very nurturing. You might have nieces or nephews that you're, you know, you're their favorite aunts. You might have pets that are extremely attached to you. You might mother your or father your parents in certain ways or want to take care of your parents as though they're your kids now um, which is so cute and sweet and this is what he really appreciates um, about your energy and, and what is you know really helping to pave the way in this new uh, wave of love that we're all experiencing here on earth and uh, I just think it's beautiful it's, it's gorgeous it's a beautiful reading and um, hang in there beautiful masculines uh, this energy of the feminines enjoying her her you know rewards for all of the work that she's done she's still very much holding a space for you and like i said masculines don't be intimidated by the high vibrations that you're receiving right now from her 
uh, put your thoughts where you would like it to be and understand that pleasure also comes from many other aspects of her life her creativity you know i'm just gonna block that out right there get away <laughs> so you know picture her in that energy again that you very much admired her in and understand that the pleasure that she's feeling in life now will light that flame again and although the hermit energy is beautiful to be in because it, it feels wonderful to get to know ourselves again the world wants you back masculines out of this uh, hermit mode because um the planet needs you they we need your uh, courageous energy that's so bold and dominant um to, to really affect change in a, in a positive way to get things done and she will guide those beautiful ideas to you I just wanted to say guys like thank you so much for all of the donations to my channel and all of like the emails the messages the comments the likes everything means so much to me and I'm I feel so happy to be a part of this collective and the more growth that we're experiencing the stronger we become as a collective and we can support each other um, because a lot of us are going through some some really crazy things aside from the twin flame journey um, and I feel like there's no running from this so I feel like you know a lot of us made the decision as souls to to come here and I feel like it's it's wrapping up and we're all really getting to to see why we were part of such a, a special mission because it's all about uh, the support and uh, getting out of these negative and dark times and and taking accountability for ourselves and understanding that you know we create our our path I hope you guys enjoyed it and um, yeah, I will speak to you soon in the next video.